This is the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G, not the 5G version. It has the same design, same camera setup, and in terms of performance, it isn't as fast as the 5G version, but it's cheaper. That said, should you buy this smartphone? Well, keep watching to find out. This video is proudly sponsored by FBS, a trusted Forex broker established since 2009, operating in over 150 countries with a community of over 27 million traders worldwide. With FBS, trading is accessible to everybody. Start with just $5 for a live trading account, benefit from low spreads, leverage of up to 1 to 3,000, lightning fast execution speed, and zero recalls. Trade seamlessly on the go with their user-friendly web and mobile applications. Now, if you're new to trading, FBS offers free educational materials to help you learn and grow. If all this sounds good to you and you're ready to explore the world of trading with FBS, click on the link in the description of this video to open a demo account. Now, it comes in three colors, black, green, and purple. I wish I got the purple color. Inside the box, you're going to see a SIM ejector tool, manuals, a TPU case, USB Type-C cable, and a 67 watts fast charger that charges this smartphone from 0 to 100% in 51 minutes. That's not bad considering that most flagship devices take longer to charge. One thing I like about this smartphone is the build quality. It's boxy, lightweight, and easy to hold. It has a glass back. If it was plastic, this knife would be able to scratch it. It comes with a plastic frame. The front glass is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 5, making it resistant to drops and scratches to a degree. For the IP rating, it's an IP54 dust and splash resistant smartphone. It can survive being dipped inside water, but I wouldn't advise you do that. The product warranty doesn't cover water damage. So leave that to me. Now, according to Xiaomi, each Redmi Note 13 Pro undergoes rigorous tests. This smartphone has survived 28,000 micro drops. 3,000 compression test and 10,000 USB port test. From all these tests, this smartphone seems to be durable. Now, moving to the external features, it has a hybrid SIM card tray on the left side, which means you can use two SIM cards or one SIM card and a memory card. It doesn't support eSIM like the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. At the top, it has a 3.5mm audio jack. Do you guys still use this? Let me know in the comment section below. It has a microphone and an IR blaster. The Redmi Note 13 Pro comes with stereo speakers and as far as the sound quality goes, it sounds good. The volume and power buttons are located on the right side. The buttons are tactile. Moving to the bottom, it has another microphone. That's the main speaker and a USB Type-C port. Turning this smartphone to the rear, it has a 200 megapixel primary camera. Now, this smartphone comes with the MediaTek Helio G99 Ultra chipset and the processor manufacturer says this chipset can only support up to 108 megapixels. So how does this smartphone capture 200 megapixel photos? Well, more on that to come. Flipping the smartphone around, it has a 16 megapixel front facing camera and a display with slim bezels. The fingerprint scanner is located on the display, it's an optical one and the unlocking speed is fast. It also has the less secure face unlock feature and it's equally fast. It comes with a 6.67 inch 1080p AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120Hz. It's a vibrant display, the colors look vivid and it's responsive. Watching content on it is a blast thanks to the slim bezels, the colorful display and the dual stereo speakers. Now it doesn't support HDR but that shouldn't put you off. The colors it shows are accurate as it shows 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. I mean just look at it, it's sharp, it shows 10-bit colors, it's probably the best display you can find on a smartphone at this price point. Under direct sunlight, you can still see the display. It can get as bright as 1,300 nits. As mentioned, the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G comes with the MediaTek Helio G99 Ultra chipset. The 5G version comes with the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 chipset. And looking at the Antutu score, the 5G version is clearly faster. Now, the Helio G99 chipset came out in 2022. When it did, it was fast, but right now, the performance is all right. Opening social media apps, sending emails, chatting on Telegram, WhatsApp, this smartphone can handle all those tasks perfectly. Multitasking is not bad as it comes with either 8 or 12 GB of RAM. The one I have here has 8 GB of RAM and as you can see, switching between applications is fine. So if you're a heavy user and you want to multitask on this smartphone, you're going to be okay with it. Where you will start to grumble is when it's time to play graphic intensive games. Case in point for PUBG, it played the game at HD graphics and high frame rate. You can also switch to smooth graphics and ultra frame rate for a better gaming experience. The smartphone can run the game well, but if you meet opponents with faster devices, they will smoke you. Moving to Call of Duty Mobile, it ran the game at medium graphics and high frame rate. The gameplay was decent, but again, if you play with opponents with faster smartphones, 
they're going to make you want to uninstall the game. <laughs> so in summary, when it comes to gaming, this smartphone can run your favorite games but at low graphics settings. For the Android operating system, this smartphone is running Android 13 with MIUI version 14.0.5. It will get the Android 14 and 15 software update but when? Only Xiaomi knows at this point. It's also going to get Xiaomi's Hyper OS. Now, suppose you're planning to use this smartphone for two years and you're worried about it slowing down in the future. Xiaomi says after 48 months of usage, this smartphone will not slow down. So that's good news. Now it's time to check out the cameras. Let's start with the front-facing camera. It comes with a 16 megapixel shooter and the pictures it captures are decent. Zooming in, the details are not that sharp, but it captures decent looking pictures with good skin tone. Front-facing camera test shooting in 1080p 30fps. Now the Redmi Note 13 Pro in 2024 should actually be shooting in 4K. Shouldn't have any business shooting in 1080p, but it is what it is. But hey, what do you guys think about the video quality shooting in 1080p 30fps? Is it good? Yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hello. Now moving to the rear cameras, it comes with a 200 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. The processor of this smartphone can capture up to 108 megapixels, but this smartphone has a 200 megapixel camera. Now with pixel binning, the sensor captures 12.5 megapixel photos 16 times. If you multiply 12.5 by 16, that's 200, so 200 megapixels. Now taking a look at the pictures captured by the main camera. Camera, they look good overall. Portrait shots look nice with good separation. Rear camera test shooting in 1080p 30fps. Um, what do yeah. you guys think about the quality? That's mistake with the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> oh, shit. So yeah. Rear camera oh. test shooting in 30, 1080p 30fps. What do you guys think about the quality? Let me know in the comment section. Hello. Now the battery life on this smartphone is solid. It comes with a 5,000 milliampere battery and yes, how long it takes to charge this smartphone. You can pause this video to take a look. Now let's talk about the price. The 8 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte version of this smartphone costs around $234, while the 12 gigabyte, 512 gigabytes version costs $274. If you're thinking of buying it on Amazon, it's more expensive, so I'll recommend you buy it on AliExpress. Now for Nigerians, the 8 gigabyte version goes for, I hope you're sitting down, 406,800 naira, while the 12 gigabyte version goes for 488,800 naira for a mid-range smartphone. You already know this, thanks to the devaluation of the naira, mid-range smartphones are now too expensive and most of us can't afford them. In conclusion, the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G is a solid smartphone, the build quality is good, the display is excellent for the price, the performance could be better, I mean it isn't a smartphone I would recommend for a gamer but if you're the type that doesn't play games, this smartphone is going to be perfect for you. The camera is alright, the battery life and battery charging time is impressive. Now the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G is a smartphone I can recommend if you're living outside Nigeria. For $234, that's a good price, but if you're in Nigeria, 400 plus K for a mid-range smartphone, that's too much. So we've come to the end of this review. I will be comparing the Redmi Note 13 Pro with the Technospark 20 Pro Plus. If you're interested in that video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching till the end once again, and I'm going to see you guys very soon. Valor Reviews, signing out.